How we feeling tonight, y'all? We good? Um, spoiler alert, I am a poet. So this is, I'm not gonna be singing, but um, hopefully y'all still like it. I am being accompanied by um, humble background music on guitar. Just give a shout out to him real quick. Um, are we gonna get right into it, cool? Actually, no, we're not, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, back, background for this piece, um, is it cool if I do a, a love piece for y'all? It's so like, just a little backstory. Two years ago, I started like one of the hardest breakups of my life, right? And it's something I'm still going through, right? Um, so this piece is just like, it helped me get through it, right? Um, so this poem is called 413, The Day That It Happened. And this is my breakup poem to weed. See, it was young love. Destined to end in ashes, and yet as every second passes, I find myself from reminiscing the days our spark was lit. Listen, it's not you, it's me. Those were the words I finally mustered up the courage to tell to her on that fateful April Eve. Our love, it studded and fumbled and tripped, and it always kept rolling with the hits, so even our lows were highs, baby. There is nothing I want to do more than hold you tight and embrace your light, but maybe that is the problem. And the fact that there is nothing I want to do more than be with you, but I need to start doing things for myself. And ever since I heard that we are controlled by what we can't live without your comfort, it feels more like confinement. I wish that we could go back to the way things were, and for a while I was trying, but it's because I love you. But you offer me an escape I no longer have time for. See, now I count my blessings. Mount my pennies, stack my quarters, and yet I still do not have a dime for all of the shit that I've given up for you. But to tell the truth, I don't know if it was love as much as it was that I was stuck with you. And look, I'll admit it. There are times where I slip and we still get it wrong. But the feeling isn't the same. It's just a filter for the withdrawal, baby girl. We both know this. But the romantic you knew in me before is no longer hopeless. I have shit to live for. You know, more importantly, I have shit that I refuse to die for. I am here to make change. Not break change on a 50 for a 20 cup of bummy, pack a fonso on a side of roll. Mama, you are too demanding. You always want to talk about something in my backyard when I'm trying to spend time with my family. Can we have a minute of separation without either of us feeling the heaves of desperation? You see, I would bring you inside, but I'm still living on Section 8, and my house doesn't really have great ventilation. On top of that, you smell. No, plus, you are loud as hell. Now, normally, I wouldn't mind. But see, I have two younger sisters who are far too young to witness what this toxic relationship looks like, and I will not show them. I feel the best thing I could do is lead them by setting the example if something is bringing you down rather than lifting you up just leave them, teach them that just because we are offered crutches does not mean we are obligated to use them I have used up more of you than I possibly should have and you have used more of me than anybody possibly could have so I am going to have to call it you know sometimes it is harder to kill a flame than to keep it going living testament to that right now I'm stalling making this goodbye longer than it has to be you just don't get it, Mary. You are my most treasured strain. The way you hold me down, all the while keeping me rooted in reality. This breakup, I swear to God, is sad to see. But Mary, I want to stop doing things for us and start doing things for me. So this is goodbye. Sincerely, the lips that love to consume the air that you breathe. That's my first piece, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I dead ass for the love poem to weed. Thank you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> um, we going shift gifts. We gonna get a little bit more serious. Not, not that that last poem wasn't serious, cause it I really was going through some shit. But um, <laughs> um, this piece is um for my moms. Hey, check me out, mama. I'm on TV. Mama, I have crafted words and learned that there is power in the voice that God has given me. Check me out, mama. Your little boy is grown. Now, he used to sporadically bust moves, but now he moves people with words of his own. Hey, mama, I heard you've been checking for me. Now, Naya, she tells me that you love and miss me. Now, I smile, I give her a kiss on her forehead as I try to dismiss our history. Hey, mama, check me out. I'm on TV. Hey, mama, look, there are people that care. Mama, there are people who are entertained at the very least. Hey, mama, I wish I could share this with you. 
Mama, I wish it was 09 and I was blind to the damages that come from caring for you, but time has a funny way of showing you just what damages do. So now I'm on FaceTime with Anaya and Alyssa, pained at the sight of you when you answer frame, disrupting my already limited FaceTime with my sisters. A hey, mama, check me out. So I'm grown, but I'm not grown enough to deal with this properly. It's been over a year since you moved out. I don't think that healing shit got to me because I still look at you in anger, frustration, and confusion. And I thought it was us against the world, but it seems like anybody else on the globe you would be choosing except for me and the girls. And, and yet I still wish you all seven continents and everything in between. I guess that's why we don't talk anymore, mom. It's not only that I'm mad at you, mama. For a while, I've been mad at me. You know, mad at me for not being able to deal with this. Mad at me for not being able to speak on this unless it's coming through ink, my notepad, or a drink. You know, mad at the only time we can sit down as a family is sometimes in my dreams. When my mind drifts to thoughts that are more remnants and memories. See, truthfully, I miss the old times. You know, they say there was ignorance and bliss. My mother, she always held her cards close to her chest and I never knew how to not show mom. They, they say that there is ignorance and bliss And I said that I wanted to see a card so bad until I did And now I can't live with the results of breaking up what we had A hey, mama, check me out I'm on TV But behind the scenes I'm praying for the day that this won't be the only way you get to see me Thank y'all uh, I could do one more? One more for y'all? Thank you, thank you Um... This is, has became one of my favorite pieces. Um, so we just gonna get right into it. This one's called Speed Racer. He is a speed racer out here breaking hearts. He's taking love and leaving scars. He never stays long enough to watch things fall apart. See, once he busts that nut, then he breaks apart. As he realized it has all been fake from the start. You tried to give him your all, then he went and played that part. Now I hate men, and men ain't shit of the words that are screaming from your scars, and who could blame you? I mean, what can I possibly say to change it? You look at me and see that dude in all the danger. Mix that with all the anger, the pent up aggression that surfaces after the breakup. You are a beautiful soul. I'm so sorry he had to change you, cause he's a speed racer. Hey, look, they come in different variations. You know, this one is a boy who refuses to father his fatherless child because he could not deal with the repercussions of his actions or the decisions that he has made. And now you are here, fatherless and alone. Remember, young king, you don't need to be heir to the crown to take your rightful seat upon that throne. I am so sorry you feel you have to deal with this on your own. And I'm so sorry he is not thinking about any of this on the road because he is a speed racer. All he cares about is the destination. Look, I've met my fair share of speed racers, and yeah, my heart got played with. This one in particular, she seemed a gentle soul. She had wealth in her pockets, but was emotionally broke. So she would latch on to those who brought her close. So her idea of happiness that the media sold, I was down for her. She left me down in the cold. Now I can spot a speed racer from a mile away like I'm highway patrol. And even though I love her, I know that I have to let her go because she is a speed racer. All their relationships are symbiotic. They yearn for something. For a short time, you got it. Whether it be comfort, money, power, or hope, when you got it, you got them. Once they feel you don't, they're out the door. Leaving your heart out, rummaging through the wreck, trying to walk. Now you stumbling, doing your best. And while you're trying to pick up all of the broken pieces that they left, Come to find out they are already on and gone to the next, I swear. I fucking hate speed races. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't once a speed racer myself. You know, once in a past time. You see, we all have a past, and I guess here is a little bit of mine.
Speed, hey, hey. They call me a speed race, I'm doing the dash And I ain't forget about you, I remember my past I just can't get caught up with the traffic, so I be moving fast And when life gets too close to real, I be pushing the gas Shit, and can you blame me? In a world full of fakes and the snakes and the shady It was fine when I was taking L's, but now everybody wanna blame me Why? Cause I learned how to play the game, I'm not letting this game play me Y'all don't face me, I'm steady winning, alright? And there ain't a price out there that y'all could pay me for what? For me to let my guard down? I put the key in the ignition and hear that muscle call sound when I skate off. And if that car break down, I'ma break off. Cause every day is a race, another mile, another yard. I gotta pick up the pace. I see my mother in the rear view when the look on her face. It's the look that you give your son and knowing that he only runs just to get last place. I swear. I fucking hate being a speed racer. Thank y'all so much. That is my song. Uh, one more time for Yensima, a.k.a. Humble Background Music on Guitar, please, y'all. If y'all want to follow me, uh, if y'all like anything I heard tonight, y'all can pull out your phones real quick. Don't worry, I got like 15 seconds. Y'all can follow me on um, IG at j.amaru underscore. That is the letter J dot A-M-A-R-U underscore. Um, I, I'd be an idiot if I didn't shout out uh, Ness for having this fucking amazing event. I do a lot of shows, but this is, bro, this is easily one of my favorite fucking venues. This is dope, bro. Um, so, yeah, thank y'all for coming out, and um, love.